a key part of the, the center's vision was to build core research facilities that uh, multiple uh, principal investigators could uh, share. Um, and this also speaks to the multidisciplinary nature of our center. So some of these core facilities include uh, functional brain imaging. So we have a three Tesla functional magnetic resonance imaging uh, scanner in place. We also have core uh, facilities for animal care. We have core human uh, behavioral test facilities for eye tracking, robotics. Um, we have core clinical research labs in the different hospitals in the area, the acute care and the chronic care hospital, and the main outpatient uh, hospital in town, Hotel Du. Um, and we have core uh, computational facilities. One of the things I'm very proud of that we have here at Queen's University is clinical research labs uh, that allows us to use robotic technology to assess brain function. So we have uh, Kinarm exoskeletons sitting at Hotel Du Hospital, Kingston General Hospital, and St. Mary's on the Lake Hospital. And they allow us to assess patients uh, look at their sensory function, their motor function, and cognitive processes. So the value of trying to use robots for assessment is that assessment drives the healthcare system. Being able to quantify what's wrong with a patient tells you what kind of rehab you should do, it tells you what the prognosis, the diagnosis, and it is the foundation for making all decisions about how you take care of patients. Again, because of the multidisciplinary nature, uh, it is tremendous in the lab for the trainees to come in with different backgrounds. So I have trainees that have background in life science where they really understand the biology, physiology, anatomy of the brain. I have other trainees with background in psychology where they understand more big picture, uh, computational behavioral control. I have trainees that come with backgrounds in computing science and mathematics that can really help with building uh, models, computational models of how the brain works and can participate in developing sophisticated data analysis tools. And so it's really this rich, uh, diverse background these trainees bring to my lab that makes it a multidisciplinary training environment and the trainees learn from each other, not just from me. So we've got a, a three Tesla MRI system. It's similar to what you'd see in a hospital, except this is a research dedicated system. It's pretty much state of the art for research. The graduate students have access to the facility for the research projects, uh, not just using the data that are collected, but actually being a part of designing their studies, how they want the images acquired. And so they're actively involved in doing their studies, carrying out their data, which is what you want to really get that hands-on training ex experience and know what you're doing when you're using MRI techniques for, for research. So you come out of this place really understanding uh, what you've done and how you've done it. And to support this, we've also got uh, really good uh, training courses, so uh, graduate level courses that are offered to teach people the basics, the theory of MRI, the use of MRI. The reason uh, imaging has become such a workhorse for neuroscience is its ability to, in, a, in each person studied, to look at the complete system, neurological function, how regions are connected anatomically and functionally, and how this can change over the course of either normal development, normal aging, or as a result of injury or disease.